Hi and welcome back to Crane's Customs. Today we're going to go over how to customize your MacBook or iMac desktop, your icons. They've been adding a lot of great customization options to make it more aesthetically pleasing or make it easier to find your own folders instead of them all being the same blue folder, which is great, so let's get into it. Typically when you have folders on your desktop, they are all these blue folders and in the past we've been able to kind of add other colors next to them, but it's still kind of hard to find the folder you want and they're not very pretty. So today we're going to look at how to make them a little bit more pretty like the folders you see to the right of those on my desktop. So I'm just going to make a couple kind of folders here so that we have some to play with since I already have these ones labeled and you can see I did these all in the same color but you don't have to. So next I'm going to go ahead and open up Canva. You can use Canva for free online and it's a great free design tool. If you haven't played around with that much before I definitely suggest trying it out and I will have some more upcoming videos on just some tips and tricks in Canva. I already have one for creating a custom email address that I will link down below and up in the cards. So here you can see I have all my desktop icons that I've designed so far and I even designed some for when I plug in my external hard drive and my SD cards. These were a little bit of um, trial and error. I wasn't sure how they were going to work but they actually every time I plug them in they pop up which is really cool. So even if for externals this works which is awesome so I kept these all in the same document and I just made my document square so I made it 100 by 100 pixels so we'll start from a new document I'll show you how I started this document so I came up here and created a design custom size and I kept it pixels and I just did 100 by 100 pixels because they don't have to be very big at all and then I just used the elements that were right in Canva. You can definitely insert your own elements in here if you wanted to. But I just used the elements that were in here. So if you wanted to upload your own image. So for example, maybe I want to use my own kind of YouTube profile picture or something like that. I could definitely do that. So, for example, if I wanted to use my Crane's Custom logo, I could definitely use my own. And then when I add a page, it will keep the same dimension. So, we'll use my image for one, and then we'll try out elements for another one. So, maybe I want to make a YouTube folder, and then maybe I want to make hmm, a to-do folder. So I'll just type in to do and see what comes up and I'll see which one I like. Maybe I like this one, like a nice colorful one, or if I just want, like for mine, I just did, I wanted them all to be the same color. So I came over to graphics. This is more likely to show you one color options and more vectorized options. For example, like here and here. So we'll try these out. I think I'm going to go with a little checklist here. And since my background is white, it drops it in black. I just made these as large as I could and then kind of centered them here. And you can see some lines snap up or it will snap to center. And then once I click on it, I can edit the colors. And I did all mine in like the same color, but I don't have to do that. So I could just do think about what color my background is and what color might pop out. So maybe I'll try like a purple to stick out from my background. We'll try out some things. So I can have a couple options here. I can put these onto my background with the white squares behind them, or I can put them on my background where they don't have a white square behind them and I'll show you both of those options here. So if I go to download, I'm going to download them as a PNG and I'll just keep the size what it is. 
if I just hit download here, it's going to download them with the white background. So we'll download one version with the white background. And then if I go back to download PNG, if I click transparent background and download, that's going to download them with a blank background and just the image. So we'll be able to see both of those. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my downloads. And then open up, right click on my folder and open up get info. And this is actually really easy to change the picture. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the picture onto this little picture here and it will automatically change. So we can see here the top one is my pictures without a background. So we can see what both of those look like with a transparent background. I prefer that. And then since I have these colors, I would probably get rid of if you hit if you have any colored icons on your folders already, you can just click it and it will get rid of it. Awesome. And then we can go ahead and try our backgrounds with the white option. So depending on how busy your background is, you might prefer one over the other. This looks kind of boxy right now, so if you do prefer to have a little bit of a background, I might suggest adding a shape behind here. So you could, instead of just using the square that you have, you could maybe drop a circle behind it. I want to see this while I'm editing, so I'm just going to go up and change the color just for now. I might want it to be white or a different color when I'm done. That's up to you. So I'm going to change it to just black while I'm editing. And then I can hit position and drop it backwards. That was being a little tricky, so I just dropped my picture right back on top of it again. And then I'll just copy and paste it down here. I might have to resize since that image is more of a square image. I might have to resize. I'll have to change my position of it. Just change like kind of what layer it's on. Put it behind that little image. Boop. There we go. And then I can change. Now that I've sized these circles, I can change them back to whatever color I want. And that for me is white. So this time I'm still going to download with a transparent background to see those circles. All right, let's try that out. So for me personally, if I was going to put a background behind mine, I might like a shaped background better than just the square background that looks awfully boxy to me. Maybe it's because I have my logo as my desktop and that has kind of a circular fashion. So that might go better in my design brain. But there are some tips and tricks for you to change and edit and customize your icons on your desktop for your Mac or your iMac. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe and hit that like button. We're on our way to 500 subscribers and thank you for helping me on my way to that goal. See you next time. Bye!